On this channel, I have shown, tested, and went through a lot of different microphones to show different solutions that you can take advantage of when you're trying to pick a mic for your sound auto capturing or whatever you need for a microphone for. Now, in this case, I'm going to, to kind of upgrade from that thinking a little bit and now talk about a microphone that does give you a lot of different features and let you decide whether or not this microphone is worth the value that it's asking for. How's it going everybody? My name is Dushan Williams and today we're going to be talking about the Blue Yeti microphone and why this may be a perfect fit for you. This microphone has been used by many. A lot of people use this microphone for game streaming, podcasting, uh, voice recording, anything you could think of. You will normally see a Blue Yeti microphone on everybody's desk or boom arm. Now, kind of going over the specs about the microphone. The Blue Yeti microphone is a condenser microphone with its tri-capsule array, has a standard frequency response of 20 to 20 kilohertz, has a sample rate of 48 kilohertz, and a bit rate of 16. The microphone itself is a plug and play option. Pretty much it only has a single core that connects to the computer and it has the drivers on the unit so it will download them immediately as soon as you plug it in. So let's talk about what is actually on the device because these are kind of the more exciting features. So the Blue Yeti microphone has two buttons on the front. Well actually one button and one knob. Uh, one is for muting which thank God any mic that has muting on the actual device it, to me is already a good point win for me because sometimes especially if you're gonna be game streaming or anything like that you just don't have enough time to use your mouse and click around or use the volume to kind of turn it down like you don't want to be doing all of that you just want to click it and know that it is muted in this case you can tell that it's muted by when it does blink um by the actual led itself but if i had to be picky i really wish that it had different color leds to know that you are either going or on just you know a simple green and red rather than kind of like a blink and there are sometimes i do want to note that um i had to kind of press it a little bit harder sometimes to make sure that it actually does mute sometimes it doesn't of course the volume knob is pretty much for when using with headphones with this guy just to kind of let you know that all the audio does route from the computer to the device so you will need to use headphones if you want to hear any feedback or if you want to talk to people while you're doing your game stream or anything like that so we'll go over that where that gets put in a bit but the volume is so you can hear it louder turn down basically your little button for turning up and down the computer volume on the bottom of the microphone we have one port for the micro usb which is pretty much the cord that goes from the actual unit down to the computer itself and we also have another port for your headphones this is where it will go right on the bottom but you'll also notice a big hole in the middle that is the mount um pretty much mount insertion to where if you want to put it on a boom arm if you want to put it on um, a shock mount or anything like that this is where it will go and then all the magic happens in the back of the microphone which allows you to change from the four different patterns that are available for the microphone and of course being able to control the gains on the fly now because of the weight of the device this device feels a little bit more industrial a little bit you know it just feels nice in your hand because it is a little bit tad bit heavier. The stand that comes with it though is just as sturdy. Even with this on um, weirder shape, the shape is really so you can fold the microphone in within itself. But it also adds some, you know, some nice aesthetics. Everything is nice that a microphone comes out with is actually a really good stand. The knobs on the side of it, you can pretty much have the stand be oriented anyway, front to the back. And of course, if you notice, I have a blacked out color one because that is the blacked out edition. You can get this microphone in different colors. So if you need to get a microphone that fits your aesthetic and you have a lot of different options just don't think that there's going to be a pink one you probably need to get a you know a sleeve for that the microphone doesn't come with a pop filter or anything on top to cover the mic so i will say this get yourself a pop filter because and hopefully maybe you're kind of hearing it as i say either sometimes i start a sentence or when i say something with a p sometimes you will hear the pop sound a little bit and you then 
you know, you just get a pop filter for that. It's like seven bucks. It's um, something really easy, something that you can really get done to kind of figure all that out. Now, and then of course, you know, the final part I want to talk about is the price. It comes in at $130, so it's already past the point of between budget to and you know investment in my case but i was able to get this unit right here just kind of remember this box right here i was able to get this for 89 dollars microphone and everything plus the watch talks to video game this is pretty much like the whole bundle set you can get it at gamestop but if you don't or if you don't like the black out color then you will have to get you know the other ones are 130 dollars it's just kind of how that works out but I'm gonna let you decide whether or not $130 is worth your money. Like, basically, we now come down to the point where we need to find out whether or not the Blue Yeti is worth it or worthless. And so I wanna start with the main point of why anybody will probably get this microphone. And that is the different options you have in the pattern recording. So the Blue Yeti has four available patterns that could be set to. The first one is of course the basic stereo, which records on the right and left channel. Very good for a lot of basic recording, something I'm using right now to record this video. Another one is of course bi-directional, which is very good for interviews or recording pretty much anybody on either side of the microphone phone because that's what it does it records one side and the front side and isolates everything from the right and left side of it cardioid which is probably everybody's more used feature besides you know on second to stereo when you're doing stuff like podcasting anytime you're in a position where you, your mouth is very close to the microphone to kind of get a little bit more sound and pretty much isolate a lot of stuff around you especially a lot of good background noises and this is something that i use definitely personally when i do like skype calls or anything that i need to talk to somebody virtually and of course the last feature which is omnidirectional meaning that the microphone picks up in all directions at the same time this is really good if you're trying to record maybe like a small room with a bunch of people in it set this guy in the middle with the stand and and you're able to get recording from all different directions. Of course, that is to me is probably the number one feature that anybody will use, will use this microphone for. Why it'd be good for anybody, especially if you're looking for a microphone that does all that into one solution, then this will be the perfect one. For me, what kind of sells it to on top of that is being able to easily mute it, like I said. You know, being able to just hit the button, know that it's muted, know that you're shut down and stuff, not to fiddle with the computer. The fact that, you know, you do have to get a particular mount for it and stuff, but honestly, not that big of a deal. This boom arm that I got, I got it way before I got this microphone and it was fitting a different one in general, but the boom arm actually had a kind of like a little insertion that once I took that out, I could just you know moving around and give it the space i needed for the shock mount to work so that's not a big deal but you can get the blue yeti caster which is basically the microphone itself the boom arm that you want to get for it and of course the shock mount all for 200 dollars if you're looking for a full set so the next thing i want to focus on is the sound well right now i'm using the microphone again of course to record this and you know i i honestly don't feel like i'm gonna need to really process the sound all too much a lot of the different recordings and different shots that i had trying to use this microphone actually worked out pretty good i sounded really clear didn't really have a lot of background noises that were applied even with the fan that I have running right now or pretty you know pretty much my air conditioning that runs through all out the house you know it doesn't really kind of capture a lot of that so that's actually a pretty good thing and especially if you're live I think this is probably like the best thing if you're gonna be doing any kind of live podcasting any kind of live show and stuff you can't you know really fix your audio at the same time so something that you doesn't have to do so much work on it it just works as you using it that is a solid choice in my aspect so that's for people who are in who are doing that i do suggest getting this microphone for that so just kind of to wrap that up a little bit in my experience the mic is really good and i'm not sure if you could probably get that from now but i actually had a really good experience using this microphone uh, this microphone is have reviews up the butt on amazon and everything and you know i've heard maybe some complaints by one or two people and stuff but honestly i haven't really heard the same thing from anybody else like honestly this is pretty much a well way you know a widespread recommendation for most people and stuff i do want to hear your opinion on that if people who do have this microphone if you've heard of anything and experienced any problems let me know i said that in the comments below so we can talk about it but from my experience from seeing people use this microphone 
and from now having it for myself i had no issues using it everybody thank you for watching this video if you liked it please hit the like button and if you loved it and love to see more content from me hit the subscribe button i wish to see you again if you have any other questions about the product don't be afraid to leave it in the comment section and let me know and pretty much anything else you want to say i have instagram facebook and twitter to talk about any kind of things you want to talk about but hopefully everything that you saw today will help you make a better and more informed decision tomorrow